And because of the scare in Japan, nuclear plants around the world have become the center of attention. Leaders wonder if the reward is worth the risk and question how far the radiation can travel. News Channel 15's Adam Widener spoke to a local expert on the crisis, and Adam joins us live from News Control with the latest. Well, Heather, the earthquake-tsunami combo was the worst-case scenario for the Japanese power plant. It's a toxic situation that's even causing concern in the states. Last week's earthquake and tsunami in Japan caused explosions that damaged the Fukushima power plant. The size of the earthquake was larger than the power plant had been designed to withstand, and then there was a tsunami on top of that. The plant needs to cool its core. Since it couldn't, it released radioactive gases during the disaster. Kind of like a pressure cooker, really. It's caused many to wonder if the United States is at risk. There are several nuclear power plants throughout the Midwest. The closest to Fort Wayne is D.C. Cook in Michigan. Indiana doesn't have any, but still uses plenty of energy from them. Nationwide, 6% of AEP's power comes from nuclear plants. It's 36% in Indiana and Michigan. IPFW physics chair Mark Masters weighs in on what would happen to Fort Wayne during a similar crisis. I would contend that our risks would still be minimal unless it was unless something really really ridiculously significant happened. The threats still very real in Japan. With an evacuation zone around the leaking plant, several people including US crew members have tested positive for radiation. Iodine pills are flying off the shelves on the west coast. But Masters finds it unlikely a poisonous gas cloud will make it to the states. As you get further and further away, it, it is not as concentrated. And again, because they are radioactive particles, most of them are decaying to non-harmful. Now, President Obama said all of our nuclear power plants are being closely monitored. The European Union will be conducting stress tests on all of their plants. Live in News Control tonight, Adam Widener, News Channel 15.